Hello and welcome to Grand Life Health. If you or someone you know is struggling with an enlarged prostate, you might be surprised to learn how much your daily coffee habit could be affecting your symptoms. We know how comforting that morning cup can be, but caffeine's effects go far beyond just keeping you alert. In this video, we'll reveal how coffee impacts hormone balance, bladder health, and even your sleep, all critical factors that can worsen symptoms of BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia. From feeling an urgent need to rush to the bathroom to waking up multiple times during the night, the connection between caffeine and prostate health is stronger than you might think. But don't worry, it's not all about cutting out coffee entirely. We'll dive into practical, easy to implement tips on how to reduce the impact of caffeine, balance your hormones, support your bladder, and improve your overall prostate health naturally. And for those coffee lovers out there, we'll also discuss healthier alternatives that let you enjoy that familiar flavor without the downsides. If you're ready to discover how simple changes to your caffeine intake can make a big difference to your comfort and well-being, stay tuned. Let's get you back on the path to a healthier prostate and a better quality of life. Now, let's dive in. 1. Hormone imbalance and prostate growth. Caffeine, especially in coffee, has notable effects on hormone levels, influencing key hormones such as cortisol, testosterone, and estrogen. This hormonal disruption can have profound implications for prostate health, particularly in relation to benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. One of caffeine's primary effects is the elevation of cortisol, the body's main stress hormone. When caffeine is consumed, it triggers the adrenal glands to release more cortisol, heightening the body's stress response. Elevated cortisol levels can indirectly affect the balance of sex hormones like testosterone and estrogen, both of which are crucial in maintaining prostate health. Testosterone is a hormone primarily associated with male health, muscle mass, and sexual function. However, when testosterone levels become imbalanced, it can be converted to dihydrotestosterone, DHT, a more potent form that plays a key role in prostate growth. DHT is one of the leading contributors to BPH, as it stimulates the proliferation of prostate cells, leading to the enlargement of the prostate gland. This enlarged prostate puts pressure on the urethra, resulting in urinary difficulties like frequent urination, weak urine flow, and a sensation of incomplete bladder emptying. Estrogen, typically regarded as a female hormone, also has significant effects on men's health, especially as they age. Men naturally produce small amounts of estrogen, and the balance between testosterone and estrogen is important for maintaining prostate size. As men age, the ratio of testosterone to estrogen shifts, often with estrogen levels rising. This hormonal shift can encourage the growth of prostate tissue, worsening or even triggering the development of BPH. Excessive caffeine consumption over a long period can exacerbate this hormonal imbalance by accelerating the conversion of testosterone to DHT and promoting higher estrogen levels, both of which contribute to prostate enlargement. Caffeine also affects the adrenal glands by stimulating them to produce more adrenaline and cortisol. Over time, this chronic stimulation can lead to adrenal fatigue and persistent hormonal imbalances, when the body is in a state of heightened stress due to elevated cortisol and adrenaline levels, it can exacerbate the hormonal disruptions that promote prostate growth. This chronic stress also accelerates the aging process of the prostate, leading to worsening symptoms of BPH. In men with BPH, these hormonal shifts, driven in part by caffeine, can significantly intensify the severity of their symptoms. As the prostate grows, it puts additional pressure on the urethra, making it harder to urinate. Men may experience more frequent urination, nocturia, waking up at night to urinate, difficulty starting and stopping urination, and incomplete bladder emptying. In addition, the stress response triggered by caffeine can increase overall discomfort and worsen the cycle of symptoms associated with prostate enlargement. Managing BPH often involves reducing or eliminating caffeine intake to mitigate these hormonal and physiological effects. 
By limiting caffeine, men can help restore a better balance between cortisol, testosterone, and estrogen, reducing the conversion of testosterone to DHT and minimizing estrogen's impact on prostate tissue. This, in turn, can relieve some of the pressure on the urethra and help alleviate urinary symptoms, improving overall quality of life. 2. Overstimulates the bladder. Caffeine is known for its stimulant properties, and its effect on the bladder and urinary tract is no different. When caffeine enters the body, it activates the central nervous system and stimulates the sympathetic nerves connected to the bladder. This overstimulation leads to increased sensitivity in both the bladder and prostate, making the bladder muscles more prone to involuntary contractions. For those with an already enlarged prostate, these involuntary contractions become particularly problematic as they exacerbate the sensation of needing to urinate urgently. A condition known as overactive bladder syndrome, OAB, is characterized by the frequent urge to urinate and sudden uncontrollable contractions of the bladder muscles. While caffeine does not directly cause OAB, its stimulant effect can significantly worsen the symptoms, causing an individual to feel the need to urinate frequently or suddenly. For men with BPH who already experience an overworked bladder due to the prostate's pressure on the urethra, caffeine heightens this overactivity. This means increased frequency of urination, both during the day and at night, interruptions to daily activities, and a constant struggle with the feeling of urgency. Caffeine also lowers the threshold at which the bladder sends signals to the brain to empty itself, meaning that even a small amount of urine in the bladder can trigger the urge to urinate. This effect is particularly distressing for those with BPH, who may find it challenging to hold urine for a reasonable period. 3. Irritation of the bladder lining and inflammation coffee, apart from caffeine, contains various chemical compounds like chlorogenic acid, catechol, and polyphenols that can irritate the urinary tract. These compounds are natural acids, and when ingested, they can increase the acidity of urine. Acidic urine can inflame and irritate the lining of the bladder, leading to discomfort, burning sensations, and pain during urination. For individuals with BPH whose urinary systems are already compromised, this irritation can make symptoms worse. The irritation caused by these compounds in coffee can also affect bladder elasticity. Normally, the bladder stretches to accommodate increasing urine volume. However, irritation from coffee compounds can cause the bladder to lose some of its stretchability, reducing its capacity and making it harder to hold urine. This diminished bladder capacity translates to frequent trips to the bathroom and an urgent need to urinate even when the bladder isn't fully filled. Moreover, the irritation of the bladder lining can lead to inflammation of the bladder wall, known as cystitis. This inflammation can make the bladder hyper-responsive and more sensitive to small amounts of urine. It can also increase the risk of urinary tract infections, UTIs, because frequent, incomplete urination creates an environment where bacteria can thrive. In the case of men with BPH, the combination of an enlarged prostate, bladder irritation, and frequent urination makes them more susceptible to UTIs and chronic bladder discomfort. 4. Dehydration and reduced bladder. Function caffeine is a diuretic, which means it promotes urine production by stimulating the kidneys to filter more fluid from the bloodstream. While this can be beneficial in some contexts, it poses a problem for those with BPH. The increased urine production caused by caffeine leads to a higher volume of urine in the bladder, requiring more frequent trips to the bathroom. However, this increased urination also results in greater fluid loss which can lead to dehydration if not balanced by adequate fluid intake. Dehydration has several direct and indirect impacts on bladder and prostate health. When the body is dehydrated, the concentration of waste products and minerals in the urine increases, making the urine more concentrated. Concentrated urine is more irritating to the bladder lining and can worsen symptoms such as nocturia, nighttime urination, urgency and burning sensations during urination, Additionally, dehydration can make it difficult for the bladder to hold urine effectively, reducing its stretch capacity and causing overactivity in bladder muscles. 
Chronic dehydration can also lead to kidney issues, such as the formation of kidney stones. The accumulation of concentrated minerals in the urine can crystallize and form stones, which not only affect kidney function, but can also cause pain and further complicate urinary issues associated with BPH. Proper hydration is essential for preventing these complications, but the diuretic effect of caffeine can disrupt the balance of fluids and negatively impact kidney and bladder function. 5. Sleep Disruption and Nocturia Caffeine is well known for its stimulating effects, which can increase alertness, help combat fatigue, and boost mental performance. However, these same stimulating properties can pose significant challenges for individuals with benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, particularly when it comes to nighttime urination. One of the most common symptoms of BPH is nocturia, a condition in which a person wakes up multiple times throughout the night with the urge to urinate. For those already struggling with frequent nighttime urination, the consumption of caffeinated beverages such as coffee, especially in the afternoon or evening, can exacerbate these symptoms, making it even more difficult to maintain a restful sleep cycle. Caffeine works by stimulating the central nervous system, keeping the body in a heightened state of alertness. When consumed later in the day, this stimulation can extend well into the night, making it harder for individuals to fall asleep. Additionally, caffeine is a diuretic, meaning it promotes increased urine production by stimulating the kidneys. This combination of increased nervous system activity and heightened urine production can lead to more frequent nighttime awakenings as the bladder fills more quickly, contributing to worsened nocturia. The half-life of caffeine, the time it takes for the body to metabolize and eliminate half of the caffeine ingested, typically ranges between four to six hours, although this can vary depending on individual factors such as metabolism, age, and sensitivity to caffeine. What this means in practice is that a cup of coffee consumed in the late afternoon could still be active in the body well into the night. For example, if someone drinks coffee at 4 p.m., their body may still be processing significant amounts of caffeine by 10 p.m. or later, making it difficult to wind down and fall asleep. This lingering stimulant effect can not only interfere with sleep onset, but also cause frequent awakenings throughout the night, particularly for individuals with BPH who already experience nocturia. Over time, this cycle of disrupted sleep can lead to a host of other health issues. Sleep deprivation is known to increase stress levels, diminish cognitive function, and reduce overall physical and emotional well-being. In individuals with BPH, the impact of poor sleep is even more pronounced. Lack of sleep contributes to elevated levels of cortisol, the body's primary stress hormone, High cortisol levels can disrupt the delicate balance of hormones, such as testosterone and estrogen, both of which play crucial roles in prostate health. When cortisol levels remain elevated over long periods due to chronic sleep deprivation, this hormonal imbalance can further exacerbate the symptoms of BPH, contributing to prostate growth and increased urinary symptoms. Sleep disruption caused by caffeine consumption also negatively impacts the immune system. Poor quality sleep weakens the immune response, making the body more vulnerable to infections and inflammation. In the context of BPH, this compromised immune function can increase the risk of urinary tract infections, UTIs, and prostate inflammation, both of which can worsen urinary symptoms. When the body's immune defenses are impaired, it becomes more difficult to manage inflammation in the prostate, which can lead to swelling, additional pressure on the bladder and urethra, and further complications with urinary flow. Sixth, bladder muscle. Overactivity caffeine acts as a potent bladder stimulant, leading to increased contractions of the bladder muscles, often beyond their normal function. Under typical circumstances, these muscles only contract when the bladder has reached a certain threshold of fullness, signaling the need to urinate. However, caffeine can disrupt this natural rhythm by heightening these contractions, causing a greater sense of urgency and frequency to urinate even when the bladder is far from full. For men dealing with benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, this heightened bladder activity can be particularly troublesome. 
An enlarged prostate restricts the flow of urine by constricting the urethra, the tube through which urine exits the body. As a result, the bladder has to work harder to push urine past the obstruction. When caffeine enters the equation, its stimulating effect on the bladder muscles amplifies this strain, increasing the frequency and urgency of urination. This can result in discomfort and a more persistent need to visit the restroom. In addition to frequent urination, caffeine-induced bladder overactivity can also create the sensation of incomplete bladder emptying. This occurs when a person feels like they haven't fully emptied their bladder despite just having urinated, prompting them to return to the bathroom soon after. This sense of constant bladder fullness can be extremely frustrating, contributing to stress, restlessness, and disrupting daily activities or sleep patterns. The emotional toll of these physical symptoms often leads to heightened stress, which can, in turn, worsen overall bladder function. For individuals with BPH, the combination of prostate-induced pressure and caffeine-triggered bladder contractions exacerbates a range of urinary symptoms. These may include urinary urgency, the sensation of dribbling after urination, and a weak or interrupted urine flow. Caffeine's stimulating properties on the bladder muscles intensify these already challenging symptoms, making it more difficult to manage the condition and maintain comfort in daily life. In managing BPH, reducing or avoiding caffeine can alleviate some of these symptoms, allowing the bladder muscles to function more regularly and preventing the additional pressure that caffeine places on an already compromised urinary system. 7. Increased oxidative stress caffeine and the other compounds found in coffee can contribute to increased oxidative stress in the body, leading to cellular damage and inflammation. Oxidative stress occurs when there is an imbalance between free radicals, unstable molecules that can damage cells, and antioxidants, molecules that neutralize free radicals. This imbalance allows free radicals to cause damage to various tissues, including those in the bladder and prostate. Over time, the accumulation of oxidative damage can lead to inflammation, tissue degradation, and even an increased risk of more serious health conditions such as cancer. In the case of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, chronic inflammation resulting from oxidative stress can aggravate the symptoms of an enlarged prostate, such as urinary difficulties and frequent urination. The prostate tissue, when under oxidative stress, becomes more vulnerable to further growth and irritation. This can exacerbate urinary symptoms such as difficulty in starting urination, weak urine stream, or the need to urinate frequently, especially during the night. Moreover, oxidative stress can also affect bladder muscle function. When bladder muscles are exposed to free radical damage over time, their ability to stretch and hold urine effectively can be compromised. This may lead to an increased urge to urinate, bladder overactivity, and greater discomfort for individuals with BPH. Reduced bladder elasticity due to oxidative damage can further impair the bladder's capacity to hold urine, leading to more frequent trips to the bathroom. Additionally, long-term oxidative stress can increase the overall inflammatory response in the body, making the tissues of the prostate and bladder more prone to irritation. This creates a cycle where oxidative stress and inflammation perpetuate each other, worsening BPH symptoms and overall urinary health. In severe cases, unchecked oxidative stress can even contribute to the development of conditions such as prostate cancer or chronic prostatitis, making it even more critical for individuals with BPH to manage oxidative stress effectively. Reducing caffeine intake can play a role in managing oxidative stress, since coffee contains not only caffeine but also other compounds that may stimulate free radical production. Limiting consumption can help reduce the overall oxidative burden on the body. By maintaining a healthier balance between free radicals and antioxidants, the body can better protect itself from cellular damage, inflammation, and the worsening of prostate-related conditions like BPH. To combat oxidative stress, it's essential to reduce the intake of caffeine and consider antioxidant-rich alternatives, such as herbal teas or beverages containing natural anti-inflammatory compounds. 
In conclusion, while caffeine in coffee is known for its stimulating and energizing effects, its impact on hormone balance, bladder function, and prostate health can be particularly problematic for men with BPH. The elevation of cortisol, conversion of testosterone to DHT, and disruption of the testosterone-estrogen balance can all contribute to prostate enlargement and worsen urinary symptoms. Additionally, caffeine stimulation of the bladder muscles can lead to increased urgency and frequency of urination, adding to the discomfort experienced by those with BPH. For men managing BPH, reducing or eliminating caffeine from their diet may help restore hormonal balance ease bladder overactivity, and improve prostate health. By doing so, they can minimize the severity of BPH symptoms, reduce nocturia, and improve overall quality of life. While caffeine has its benefits, its potential to exacerbate BPH highlights the importance of moderation and lifestyle adjustments for better prostate and urinary health.